Number 82. How much heat is produced when 1.25 grams of chromium metal reacts with oxygen gas under standard conditions? Okay. So, sounds like they're talking to us about a balanced equation, right? Chromium is reacting with oxygen. And they said under standard conditions, they're talking about heat. So that means that they want us to find the enthalpy values in the back of a textbook. So that's exactly what I did. So... I found out the delta H values, how much heat of formation is used for chromium metal oxygen, right, that it's going to be reacted with, and the compound that it forms naturally under standard conditions is Cr2O3. So that's the first thing. I'm going to write that down. So we have chromium, solid, that's the metal, plus O2, and that's a gas, will produce or come together and form Chromium three, uh, um, yeah, chromium three oxide, Cr two O three, and that's a solid. All right. So, the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure that it's balanced. So in this case, um, I have two chromiums. So maybe I'll put a two here, right? But now here's the problem. I have three oxygens and I have two oxygens here. So maybe instead of doing that, maybe I'll put a three here and a two in front of this compound to get six oxygens for each. And then I can balance the chromium. I'll put a four here because now there's four chromiums here. The next thing that we're going to do is just list out um, what our delta H values are from those appendix and AKA the standard states. So chromium, zero, no bonds, so no heat to form it. Oxygen, diatomics, they're all zero, takes no heat to form these. And then for this one, the Cr2O3, it's a negative 1,139.7. Now remember, if we need to find a delta H value, it comes from that formula that's this one, right? It's the products minus reactants. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to get the sum of the products minus the sum of the reactants. So I just need to add up the left side and get the right side number, and then I just subtract. So just make sure, remember, we've seen this time and time again. We're going to take those numbers that we found in the back of the textbook and multiply by how many we have on our equation. So in this case, it's four chromium, so I'm going to technically multiply this by four. There's three oxygens, so I'm going to multiply that by three. And then there's two of these Cr2O3s, so I'm just going to multiply it by two. I have to sum the reactant side up. It's literally Cr plus O2, so I'm just going to add these two together. And then this, I'm just going to multiply by two. So on the left-hand side, it's a zero. And then on the right-hand side, I get what? Let's see. 1139.7 times 2, negative 2,279.4. Okay, delta H. So delta H for the whole reaction, Rxn means reaction. It's just the products. So whoop, what happened to the equal sign? There we go. Negative 2,279.4 minus zero. So it's just going to be that number, right? So maybe I'll just get rid of this. And I'll just say that this is now kilojoule per mole. And I know that because all the values, if I do take it from the back of a textbook, the delta H values are always in kilojoule per mole. All right. So now I'm just going to kind of erase this math. The only thing that we really need is the balanced equation and the delta H value. So I'm just going to get rid of all this just to have, you know, more space to work with. So just pause the video if you need to write it down. But it's going bye-bye. This is the only thing that matters. And now let's get to the problem. It says how much heat is produced when we have 1.25 grams of chromium metal. In this case, we only know that we have 4 moles of chromium metal. I don't know how much is going to be needed when I only have 1.25 grams. So... Let's, let's see. This is what I'm starting with. So I have to start with 1.25 grams. And
and it's of chromium, right? And maybe I'll say that this is grams of chromium. Now remember, in order to use this uh, ratio, here's the heat value. I need to get it in moles. I have grams though. Oh, but I know how to go from grams of one thing to grams of another. Got to multiply by the ratio, right? Throw the unit that you don't want on the bottom. And the unit that you do want, moles of chromium, goes up on the top. So, remember, gram to mole of the same element is the periodic table. One mole equals whatever the mass of chromium is on the periodic table. It's 52.00. So that one was pretty easy. So grams of chromium will cancel out, and I'm left with moles. But I just want to know how much heat is produced. So just keep rocking and rolling, all right? Just keep times and by ratio. I'm going to now use this information. So times by ratio, I'm going to throw the unit that I don't want on the bottom. I don't want moles anymore. I want the actual kilojoules. So KJ goes up on the top. Now, it's negative 2,279.4, so that's the number that goes on the top. 2,279.4 kilojoules per mole, but now we're specifically saying it's of chromium. When you give an actual, when you give an actual element or a compound, you have to go and see what number am I using here? Can I just say one? Let's see. For this equation, how many moles of chromium produced this amount of kilojoules? Four moles. So I have to put a four down here. This is like the only tricky parts of enthalpy. So just make sure if you're using these numbers, you have to take the coefficient, okay? So now moles of chromium cancel, and now I'm good to go. So 1.25 times 2279.5. Four divided by 52, right? 2279.4, yeah, 2279.4 divided by 52, oh, and divided by 4. So I get a negative 13 point, how many sig figs? I need three sig figs, so 13.7 kilojoules. Okay, now there's a couple of things here. They just asked for how much heat is produced. So there's like a, a catch here, guys. How much heat is produced? It's 13.7 kilojoules. The negative means that uh, the heat was released into the environment. You did not produce a negative 13.7 kilojoules. You actually produced the 13.7 kilojoules that was released into the environment. So depending on what your teacher or professor wants, maybe they, they actually just want the the 13.7, or, you know, maybe they just want you to put the negative there. I don't know. I'm going to leave it as the negative, but just know in terms of thinking wise, the actual amount is 13.7 kilojoules and it's being released because it's negative into the atmosphere. All right. So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. Just gets the word back to me that I'm doing my job right here. All right. The channel is almost at 15,000 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much who have subscribed. Um, I really do appreciate you. And for anyone who doesn't, I do appreciate you guys as well. I really hope that you guys are learning and I will see you all in later lessons. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.